This tutorial deals with Spectral Bluing and Colored Inversion, two commercial plugins by ArcGLS. Spectral Bluing is used to increase the vertical resolution of seismic data, while Colored Inversion is a fast, band limited acoustic impedance inversion approach. Both techniques derive a global operator that shapes the spectrum of seismic data to the spectrum observed in Wellox. The technology is implemented in OpenDetect's Attribute Engine. Here we will define a Spectral Bluing operator. Click on the Analyze and Create button to launch the application. First we have to obtain a global seismic spectrum. We will calculate two sets of 40 spectra taken from random locations in a time window between 500 and 1500 milliseconds. The first set will be used to calculate our operator. The second set is used for QC purposes. Next we must calculate amplitude spectra from Wellox. We can average over multiple Wellox, but here we will only use the well F34 where we know that we have good log coverage over the target interval. We generate an acoustic impedance log from Sonic and Density and we limit our time gate to match the window used in the seismic calculations. Several diagnostic graphs are generated. We will use these to tune the spectral bluing operator. Open the design window by pressing the corresponding icon. First we smooth the average seismic spectrum a bit more. Note how the black curve changes as we increase the smoothing operator. Now let's move to the Wellock spectrum. The spectrum has frequencies up to 500 Hz. We will limit the upper side of the spectrum to 250 Hz. This improves the fit of the black curve over the frequency range of interest. The frequency range is tuned with the low cut and high cut wheels that control the design operator. In the residuals display the blue curve should be flat at zero while the green and red curves should overlap over the entire seismic frequency range. Where the frequency fall off the blue curve may deviate from the zero line which will create mono frequency noise trails in the spectral bluing results. To avoid this, reduce the frequency range of the operator. Now let us look at the operator itself in the time domain. This is the filter response that will be convolved with the seismic data to arrive at the spectral blued result. Now we can save the operator and exit the application. In the attribute set window we can apply the operator in the usual way. Let us apply spectral bluing to this seismic line by clicking on the redisplay attribute icon. Toggling the blue results on and off allows comparing the blue section with the original data. Notice the increased detail especially in the area of pinch outs below the unconformity. The design of a colored inversion operator follows a quite similar workflow. Here we will restrict ourselves to applying the colored inversion operator to the seismic line. The result is a globally optimized band limited acoustic impedance that is consistent with the observed behavior from Wellox. This concludes this tutorial on spectral bluing and colored inversion.